everybody. Welcome to Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Hakeem Branch, and today I'm going to preview this Saturday's HBO Championship Boxing Telecast, which is a double header that in the main event we have Lucas the Machine Matisse taking on Tarek Kirim in a uh, in Matisse's welterweight debut. And then on the undercard, we have Jorge Linares defending his WBA uh, lightweight title against Mercedo Hester. So I'm going to start off with that one and then um, move on to the main event. So with Linares and Hester, we have a pretty good matchup between uh, arguably the best lightweight in the world in Linares and uh, Hester, who is in his second world title try. Uh, he was unsuccessful in his first one against Miguel Vasquez a few years ago. Um, was a little inactive for um, almost a year and some change before uh, coming back and getting a couple of good wins. So, Linares, we know, has been very active. He's been fighting uh, pretty much the best that uh, the UK had the all to offer uh, in his last few fights with uh, Luke Campbell and Anthony uh, Corolla, who were very capable fighters. And he's got another one in front of him in Hester. Hester is, he favors his right hand. He is a southpaw. He's from the Philippines. He had a lot of comparisons to Manny Pacquiao back when he first came out onto the scene. But, um, of course, it didn't quite pan out the same way as uh, the Pac-Man, which, uh, you know, it's going to happen to 99% of fighters, 99.9% .9 actually, um, Manny Pacquiao's successes once in a generation type of thing. But that's okay. You can still have a pretty good career without being Manny Pacquiao. So, back to Hester. Um, he's a little right hook happy. Uh, he loves to throw that right hook. Uh, he can catch people off um, off guard with it. He's, he's got some spring in his step, but he's not, the, uh, he's not as good on his feet as Linares would be. Um, if you've seen Linares, he's an excellent mover. He knows how to stop and plant. He can pivot. He can create angles. He does uh, very well on his feet, and he can fight on the inside when he wants to. Hester, um, like I said, after he throws the right hand, he loves to follow it up with the straight left. Um, and if he gets a little too reliant on that, someone with the ring IQ of Linares will pick that up and exploit it all night. Um, he'll already have the footwork advantage on Hester, who has very good feet in his own right. But like I said, Linares is top of the food chain when it comes to footwork, movement, being able to plant, create angles, uh, changing speeds, and um, keeping his opponent off balance by moving out of the way after he throws his volleys. Both guys throw in combination well. I think Linares is a little bit more fluid with his. I think he has a little bit more pop also. Um, Hester did score a stoppage in his last fight um, against Martin Honorio. It was a strange one, but he scored a stoppage nonetheless. Um, Linares has been, uh, like I said, he's been fighting the top of the food chain as far as the UK is concerned. Um, he's aiming to fight Mikey Garcia, but in order to do that, he has to win this one and do so impressively um, as well so he can be in that conversation as someone who is viable uh, financially to take on Mikey Garcia because we know in the boxing game, especially in this modern era, you have to not only be ranked highly ranked, you have to also bring a lot of money to the table. So, in order for him to do that, he's going to have to continue to put on impressive performances. And I think he does have an impressive performance with Hester, who has fast hands, but just not enough at the top level to really pose a threat for Linares. So, uh, Matisse, in his welterweight debut, is fighting someone who has never fought outside of his native country of Thailand and there's very little footage on him so as far as doing a breakdown or a prediction 
there's not a lot to go on. But from personal experience, um, the people that I have trained with that are from the nation of Thailand have some of the hardest bones that I've ever felt. Trained with one guy who was just, he wasn't even a uh, full-time fighter. He was just a guy who liked to come in and work out recreationally. And with full wraps, 16 ounce gloves, and mitts, I could feel this man's knuckles when we hit the mitts. And that is par for the course for like, I've trained with maybe about four to five guys from Thailand and it's all been like that. So, and if you take a, like a Sorum Vizai for instance, who just uh, came out of nowhere to shock Roman Gonzalez twice, you can't count the Thai fighters out. So, this one is going to be a huge test for him, but we got a little bit more of Matisse and him being in there with some of the top guys already. He's been in there with Zab Judah, Danny Garcia. Uh, he was the first guy to knock out Lamont Peterson. Um, we saw Errol Spence do that this past weekend. But um, Matisse is a hard puncher as well. So I expect a war in this one. And I expect Matisse to come out on top. But I'm not sure how he's going to do it. Like, I'm not sure if it's going to be a stoppage or if it's going to be a decision because I just don't know anything about the opponent. And from what I've searched for online, and I've actually, uh, actually rarely do this, but I did look at other uh, videos and other breakdowns, and no one has much on, on this guy at all. So we're really flying blind on this one. And, you know... That's a mystery that can be very exciting. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he has to offer for Matisse, and I think we'll enjoy the fight. Thanks for watching, guys. I want to keep this real quick. Of course, you know, Rob isn't with me for this one. We don't have um, a lot of insight on this one. And he was like, hey, I don't know anything about any of these opponents, so you go ahead and rock with it on your own. And I was like, cool. <laughs> anyway, uh... If you haven't done so yet, follow us on our social media uh, outlets. All the links are below. If you have any information on the opponents, um, feel free to drop that down in the comment section. Leave your thoughts on the fights as well. Um, and then we'll watch it, see what we get, and bring you guys the recap. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And until then... Fight on. This is round one, and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and gone. My fists are on fire. I perform till I perspire. My demons are in a rage. Keep thinking that it's a game. I kick rhyme, hurricane. I told them I don't play. I'm liquid. Black street fighter. Street fighter. Street fighter.